I'd like to return to this article by Hank Hanegraaff, in which he says the following. It is common to contend that Revelation was written long after the destruction of the temple in AD 70. Now, he says this alongside of other things that are really uh, interpretive issues. This is not an interpretive issue, however. This is a historical issue. At that time, the apostle and evangelist John, the one whom Jesus loved, was still living in Asia and governing the churches of that region, having returned after the death of Domitian from his exile on the island. And that he was still alive at that time may be established by the testimony of two witnesses. They should be trustworthy who have maintained the orthodoxy of the church, and such indeed were Irenaeus and Clement of Alexandria. The former, in the second book of his work Against Heresies, writes as follows, And all the elders that associated with John the disciple of the Lord in Asia bear witness that John delivered it to them, for he remained among them until the time of Trajan. And in the third book of the same work he attests the same thing in the following words, But the church in Ephesus also, which was founded by Paul, and where John remained until the time of Trajan, is a faithful witness of the apostolic tradition. Clement, likewise, in his book entitled What Rich Man Can Be Saved, indicates the time and subjoins a narrative which is most attractive to those that enjoy hearing what is beautiful and profitable. This is Eusebius in his History of the Ecclesia, Book 3, Chapter 23. Now here we have Eusebius giving his understanding of Clement and Irenaeus. And it has to do with the fact that John was known to have lived among believers at Ephesus up until the time of Trajan. So this dates the apocalypse to the time of Domitian's reign. And Dr. Philip Schaff has this to say on this portion of Eusebius's history in the editorial notes in the Anti-Nicene Church Fathers, Roberts Donaldson translation. Dr. Philip Schaff says this, Clement indicates the time only by saying, after the tyrant was dead, which might refer either to Domitian or to Nero. But the mention of John a little below as an aged man would seem to point to the end of the century rather than to Nero's time. At any rate, Eusebius understood Clement as referring to Domitian, and in the presence of unanimous tradition for Domitian, and in the absence of any counter-tradition, we can hardly understand him, that is Clement, otherwise. And what Dr. Schaff is saying here is that he knows of people that are trying to have Clement to refer to Nero, and it's because of their newfangled Neronian date for the Apocalypse. And he says that this is doubtful because there is no counter-tradition to the Domitian tradition. And that's important to understand. This whole idea that the Apocalypse was written in Nero's time, that it refers to Nero, that it refers to AD 70, all, all of this, all entirely new and they have no historical precedent.